Number 72, what mass of HCl is contained in 45.0 mils of an aqueous HCl solution that has a density of 1.19 grams per centimeters cubed and contains 37.21% HCl by mass. Okay. So a couple of things here, right? We're looking for a mass of HCl and they're talking, you know, they're talking about it in terms of being in a solution, right? And they gave me this percentage by mass. Now, any percent by itself, right, is always a part divided by whole times 100, right? But now they're just making it fancy. They're saying that this is a percent by mass. Mass just means that we're going to be using the, the unit grams, right? You can use kilograms, but I do see that there's a gram over here, so I'm going to use grams instead. It's just easier. Um, but now... It's just a little bit more complex formula, but it's the essence of this. I'm just going to be changing the words for the part over the whole. Now, the formula is right here. Ooh, big change, right? Just a couple more words added. But the idea is the same. Now, there's two different things here. There's a solute, which is on top, and the solution is on the bottom. The solute is the part of the whole thing, and a solution is the whole thing. So if you're talking about, if you have a solution, you have the whole, you know, thing. The solution is the solute plus a solvent. So if you're adding something, your solute, into like a, li a liquid, probably water, the whole idea of having those two interacting with each other, you have a solution. So that's why it's just a part over whole. Now, we're looking for the mass of HCl. That's going to be the solute, right? And they're telling us that it's contained in 45 mils of A. Who cares if it's aqueous HCl? It's a solution number. So this 45 is the volume of the solution, right? Milliliters is a volume. Okay. And they gave us a density of the solution, but they told us that it was the 37.21%. But now what's the problem here? They gave us 45 mils, but both of the numbers, especially for my solution, has to be in a mass. It has to be in grams. So the first thing I have to do is I have to convert this volume into a mass, right? I got to get this somehow into grams. How do I go from a volume to a gram value? Oh, that's why they gave us the density. The density of the solution is 1.19, and this is grams per centimeter cubed. But now, whoa, 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 we have mils, right? If we're using this formula, the grams is going to be the mass that we are going to get out, and technically centimeters cubed is the volume. But I, I, I have mils, right? I don't have centimeters cubed. But here is the thing, guys. If you're talking about aqueous solutions, which basically means that you're in water, that's the solvent, your water, for every one mil you have one centimeter cubed. So they are the same number. So whatever mils you have, you have that amount of centimeters cubed. So, you know, either I just erase this and say, okay, this is the same thing as milliliters. And now your units match. Or you could have did it vice versa. You could have kept the centimeters cubed and turned this into centimeters cubed, I don't care. I just like to work in mils. I don't like to work with centimeters cubed. So I did it this way. Now, remember, the density formula is D equals M over V, right? We have the density, we have the volume, so we're solving for the mass. If I just rewrite this formula, right, or if you want to do it that way, you'll see that we'll get the same answer. The mass equals density times volume. So in this case, the mass would be the density, 1.19, times the volume, which was 45. I don't plug in any units here because I already double checked my units before I plugged it in, so I know that I have the right units. Now in this case, 
it's 1.19 times 45. So I get 53.55. I'm not going to do sig figs now because we're not at the final answer. So I'm just going to keep stringing all the numbers along. And just remember that this is your grams of solution, right? Since it was a volume of a solution, it had to be grams of solution. So now I have the bottom number. Okay, let's see what else. So if I have the bottom number, I'll highlight that. They gave us a percent, so I have this. Let's see, if we highlight, maybe we'll see what we're gonna solve for. This is standard. Oh, look, what's left? We're gonna solve for the solute, the mass solute, right? And that's what they're asking for. So let's get down to it. 37.21 equals, this times 100, the 53.55 is going on the bottom, and the X is going on the top. And let me just maybe, okay, there we go. So I'm going to get rid of the 100. I'm going to divide by 100, because it was being multiplied. So that gets rid of that. This now turns into 0 0.3721 equals X over 53.55. And now all we have to do is just times them out, right? Multiply them out. So 53.55 times 0.3721. Now I'm going to round to three sig figs because the lowest number uh, has three sig figs. So it's 19.9. And now this is the grams of the solute, which was the HCl. And there you go. Okay, cool. Guys, what'd you think? Hopefully this helps. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if it did help you. It just gets back to me that, you know, I'm, I'm helping you guys out in, in the, the best possible way, and I'll keep doing that, all right? Um, good luck on all your tests and quizzes. I hope you guys are doing well, and keep studying hard, all right? And if you want, subscribe to the channel. Yeah? Thanks so much for that. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.